Alright, what's up guys? Dale here from New to Gaming. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the vampire combo. Uh, the dag to scythe with an omni eight. So you need to open up domain plus vampire ghost starter to do this combo. Let's go into it. So to start the combo off, we'll do vampire's domain, activate effect. Give you an extra normal summon. It's not really relevant in the route we do this because you'll keep it no matter what. We'll use this effect. Pitching the vampire domain. And with this, we are going to want to search for Shadow Vampire. Sending Vampire Familiar. Then we're going to want to normal summon the Shadow Vampire. Using the Shadow Vampire's effect. To special summon Vampire Starlet Sturge. Use Starlet Sturge's effect. Special summon familiar here. Use familiar's effect. Grab retainer. Activate the effect of vampire ghost order. Summoning retainer. This is where we will link for the artifact Dagda. We will then activate Vampire, I guess it doesn't really matter here, but all right. yeah, we will use Retainer, sacrificing the Shadow Vampire to summon. We'll use Retainer's effect on the field, and this will also trigger our artifact Dagda here. Setting Scythe. Then we get to search out Vampire Domination. Set Domination. Special summon Anaconda. Activate an Anaconda effect. Sending Fusion Destiny. And bam, we have our Scythe Lock with an Omni Negate to back it up. That is a counter trap, meaning they basically uh, have to open Red Reboot to out this combo or have multiple forms of interaction through a combination of uh, multiple Imperms, Chalices, Droplets won't cut it. So they need to have either multiple Chalices, multiple Imperms, or uh, a combination of Bell. Um, I'm trying to think about this. Basically, yeah, that's they, they have to have multiple hand traps to stop this combo from going through. Otherwise, they do get DP Scythe locked. If you wait for the normal summon, you can't get Dark Ruler anyways, so you can just uh, shotgun it from there. Otherwise, just wait for their summon, and then you have Domination to protect you. And then you also have follow up assuming you get any vampire card because you still hold the Familiar and Graveyard, which grabs you either Shadow or Starlet Sturge to follow up. Pretty simple from there. Alright, so this version of the combo does not get you the Scythe Lock, unfortunately. However, it, uh, or, sorry, it did see the Scythe Lock, but you do not get access to, uh, both the Scythe Lock and, um, the Omni Negate Trap. However, this one does end you with a bigger engine to follow up with. So, same thing, Vampire Ghost Order. This is basically gonna be, like, our main starter for all of our basic combos, and everything's just kind of a loop of these specific combos. Searching Vampire Void Void. Void Void, and then we'll send Familiar. And we activate Retainer, pitching the Void Void, Special Summon and Defense, use the effect. I grab Domain here still. Um, and then we activate the Domain, additional Normal, we activate the Familiar. Familiar to grab Shadow, pretty standard here still. And you make that artifact Dagda early in this combo, but that's still not too bad. We normal summon, we lose this unfortunately. And then, yep, chain the Dagda here, pretty simple. Set the Scythe. Shadow Vampire then gets you to Vampire Starlet Sturge. Sturge effect, activating to special summon back the Void Void. And then we can go for our Anaconda with these.
Now, this board is inherently a little bit worse. There is a couple of benefits this board has. Um, Especially Voivoid is another new date. You have the Shadow Vampire uh, still on board here, so you have another threat to con consider. Uh, another option you can do in this situation is go for the Masterina here. Uh, if you go for the Masterina in this situation, it lets you uh, link on your opponent's turn using the DPE so you can help guarantee the Scythe goes off. Or if you have the um, Phoenix Enforcer already in hand, or sorry, if they let the Phoenix Enforcer go through and they let the Scythe and they let the Scythe go through and they plan to get the Scythe, you have Master Arena, so they need another form of interaction. Obviously, not having the domination here is not as good, but yeah, Domain plus uh, Vampire Order is definitely the best opener this deck has. Uh, if you have any other Vampire, you can get the exact same board. So we can go through that one too. If you don't want to go for domain and you still want the Omni Date, uh, Ogre plus any three vampires does that. So I think we'll go through that one next because that one is probably the next most relevant one. All right, let's go through the same exact combo this time, but instead of having instead of opening, um, uh, we have three vampires in the sand. I'm totally spacing out. So instead of opening the combo like we did before, we actually have three vampires in hand, which is a lot, a lot better. So pitch the Void Void like before, summon, use effect, search for our domination on this one. This is where we go for the, sorry, artifact data. Link, link. Now we can go for the Vampire Familiar in hand, pitching the Vamp Vamp. Use the effect. Activate the effect. This allows us to set the Scythe here. Search for the Shadow Vampire. Banish the Vampire Ghost. Shadow Vampire, Shadow Vampire's effect, going through. It is essentially the same route as before, except for this time we get the Omni to get through also. In reality, not too much different here, obviously. We're still making pretty much the same board. But this time we actually just get to the domination too, with the Void Void Indiate, meaning they have to have three pieces of interaction, unless they have like double Imperm. But uh, with this one, Bell, Didi Crow, Meister, none of those cards work on this because you can just Void Void Indiate them. So yeah, you have the Omni Indiate to protect one, you have the Void Void Indiate also. So that's how you open up all of them. Um, nothing too crazy. Like I said, I really like this deck. It's super interesting in how the actual combo lines work out because it is still fairly strong. So yeah, I definitely think if uh, you guys wanted it, I know a lot of people are asking for the combo lines. These are essentially them. Um, everything else is basically you're just looping a combination of retainer plus familiar into combo routes to get pluses and a lot of it comes off of a combination of shadow vampire which I actually only play two of now um, a combination of looping shadow vampire starlet surge and uh, making void void for interaction or summoning out retainer or familiar for additional interaction so nothing too crazy a lot of it's just uh, going for those but yeah definitely if you guys enjoy the content remember to like and subscribe for more um, trying to hit a thousand subscribers, we're getting pretty close now. Uh, once I'm there, I definitely will upload content more regularly, I think, just to, I think it'll give me that extra motivation as I see the numbers drop. They've been going up a little bit consistently still, but yeah. Um, I have a lot of more, a lot more cool decks like this. Uh, if you guys want to see, I won locals on Ice Jade and on Crawler, which I think are both really cool decks. Uh, the Crawler deck I don't have all the cards for anymore. I ended up selling the Lord of Heavenly Prisons that I was playing, but I did have those previously and I really liked that card. Uh, and I also won Locals on Ice Jade, which I do have the full deck for, and I can show that. I do have Regionals this weekend, so you guys will definitely see that. And uh, my kid's actually playing a really cool deck for that. He'll be in the Dragon Duels. I'm hoping he wins it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.